So I'll show you a little trick on how you can use cookies to persist state and react. And the purpose of this is it can work with server-side rendering, whereas local storage cannot work. So here I have a Next.js project right here, which is rendering an index component. And it is using uh, a state that I want to persist. So here I have a true-false value that I want to persist. And I'm displaying a checkbox and just the words, remember me here. So this is what it looks like. So I can see I can toggle the state on and off. Basically, I want to be able to toggle the state and then refresh and see the checkbox checked uh, or unchecked, depending on what I choose. Now, the first thing I want to show you is why local storage does not work. So I can say local storage dot get item and we just have like whatever we want the key to be. We're going to see that local storage is not defined. And the reason for that is we are server side rendering the page with Next.js here. So local storage is only available to you in the browser and not on the server. Now, local storage you can use just fine on your page here if you want to do it after it's being rendered on the browser. But for me, I wanted to get the value persisted in a cookie. That way when I'm server side rendering the pages, I can use that value. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, I'm gonna put this back to false. So false. And what I'm gonna do is set a cookie value in my browser whenever the remember value or remember me value changes, whenever my state changes. So I'm gonna use the JS cookie library to set a cookie. And I'm gonna do this whenever the value changes. I'm gonna detect that change with use effect. So whenever remember me changes, I'm gonna say cookie.set remember me and set the value there. So now if I come over back over to my browser and then we check off this and we can do a refresh, we can see the value uh, show up there, uncheck, refresh, we can see the value is false there. So now as I basically check it on and off, the value is being set as a cookie. So the next thing that I want to do is whenever I refresh the page, it's going to send a request to the server and it's now going to send the cookie to the server and I can read those cookies and then use them in my page here. So how can I read the cookie? Um, well, we can get the value of that cookie in our get initial props here. So we have access to a request object in our context. So here I'm going to say const cookies is equal to parse cookies and pass in my request object. Now parse cookies is a function from the Next.js examples that they use a lot. And this is from the cookie library. It's just cookie.parse and checks whether there is a request. That means we're on the server and we read the header cookies or the cookies inside the header. Otherwise, we're on the browser and we just read the document.cookie value. So now we can grab all the values in the cookies, like just cookies.bob or cookies.value, whatever you name the cookie. In my case, I named it remember me. And here I'm gonna say initial remember value is equal to this. So now in my props, I can read this initial remember value in my component. And so I can just console log to show you guys that. Initial remember value. And now I'm gonna open up my log so you can see it. So now when I refresh the page on the server, you see how the value is false. Let's check this, refresh, the value is true. So now we can read the value, what it is, and we can use it in our page here. So now I wanna set the initial state here based on this value. So I'm gonna use a function, and I'm gonna say json.parse initial remember value um, because it's stored as a string. You'll know, notice if you're using an object instead of say just a Boolean, you may need to do json.stringify the remember me value here. Uh, maybe cookie.set does it by default. Um, but I stringify and then we're gonna parse it out. And I don't want the parse to run every render, so I'm gonna have an initializer function. Basically, it's gonna be a function that returns the initial state. In this case, the parse value of this. Um, and there we go. So let's see this in action now. So I'm gonna to untick it, refresh, it's unticked. Tick it, refresh, the value is ticked. So we can see the page server side rendered with the value checked off there because it read the cookie. And so just to recap what we did there is we set cookies using cookie.set 
This is just a regular JavaScript cookie that we can get, we can access in JavaScript and access on the server. And then we parse the cookies on the server or on the browser using this parse cookies function. We pass it down to our props. And then in our component, we get the initial state based on it. So there you go. You can use this as well if you want a server-side render with some persisted state values. You can store in a cookie.